My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Now, you may notice almost immediately there's a few things different right now. First of all, the in-game background music has been removed and it's been replaced with some free license classical music. This was a request from a commenter, a tube, and I think it's probably a a worthwhile idea exploring so please let me know in the comments below if you prefer the classical relaxing strains in the background or the in-game music provided by well the game so this is a bit of an experimentation and a test and I'll leave it to you guys and girls to decide which you prefer now the other th big thing you're gonna notice is we have an airport and we also have modern roads now, what happened is, when I recorded an episode uh, this morning, when I came to edit the episode and put together a video, hopefully for release, on the same day, along with the latest Grimworld episode, episode 6, uh, I'd noticed that somehow, the kids who had been sat at the computer uh, the other day, with Bandicam open, and were just randomly hitting buttons and clicking the mouse as kids tend to do they somehow disabled all audio inputs microphone and screen capture audio so when I came to process it there was absolutely no sound now I did toy with trying to do some post commentary but I just couldn't quite get it to have the authentic feel so I thought the best thing to do is just very quickly at the start of the next episode so this episode is just go over what changes I had made. So the first one is obviously we have an airport. Uh, the airport we put, or I put it just here outside of Calgary, and the reason is we can easily get some decent transport links out here. We could get a metro service running out here from the various districts and other towns, such as Pridis and Cochrane over here. I've already got a metro link out here in terms of a tram, just to get things started. Uh, the other airport is over in British Columbia and that's sat between Sycamus and Enderby and we'll see that just here and again just to get things started I've got a small tram system running from Enderby out to the new airport but again it wouldn't be too difficult to have a little side station an airport train station here and that could shuttle in from Enderby and maybe even Sycamus, although it's a very short route, let's be honest. So for now, all we have is this little tram system, as I said. It was uh, very quickly thrown together in the last recording session that got wiped out due to the lack of sound. So that's one thing that got changed. The other change was we had a comment on the previous video, and this is from Mexmec Productions. And they requested a train be named the Alejandra and we've run it on the Rocky Mountain Rail Line. So there's the Peter A, which was one of our, in fact, no, it was our first named train. So the Alejandra is also running on the Rocky Mountain Rail Line. So we'll just quickly try and track her down now. She should be fairly easy to spot because she will have the electric locomotive icon rather than the steam icon. So just flying overhead. That's the oil train, that's not the Alejandra. What's that? That's one of the coal or iron trains, so that's not her. Is that her? No, that's Marshall's on his way through the Rocky Mountains there. So Alejandra must be out here somewhere. There she is. Now, Mexmerk Productions requested a blue and white train. This is the blue and white scheme that I went for. If we just quickly track the train there. So I went for blue, blue, white, white, and blue. Now, Mexmerk Productions, if you'd like that changing. Now, Mexmerk Productions, if you would like a different configuration on the blue and white there, just let me know and I can quickly edit that for you. Perhaps you might want blue, white, blue, white. Uh, just let me know and I will change that. So this is our 
newest addition to the Rocky Mountain Railway. I do like the blue and white choice there. I think it's a very inspired choice, so well done. Very nice looking train indeed. And hopefully she shall serve us very well on the Rocky Mountain Railway. She, as we can see, the train does have a full load as she makes her way into the final destination in Alberta, which is Cochrane. So that's another fairly major change that we've made there. Uh, the third change is on our Calgary Metro lines. We have unlocked our first rail buses. So I have gone ahead and replaced the Metro trains with a rail bus service. They carry 80 passengers in total, as we can see in the lower left corner. But they are a lot more rapid than the former steam trains that we had running previously. So that's another change that we made. And lastly, the focus of the episode was I have started the brick production over in British Columbia. So we now have this station here, just outside Lumbee, which obviously picks up from the quarry here. The line then runs through here, through the coal station at Sycamus. It follows this line, joins into our main line here, and then it branches off this way just here before branching off once again and sweeping round here where it then serves our construction material plant at Sycamus. And then we've got another new line which basically runs on, on our existing track, so no new track was done for this leg, and that's just delivering the bricks. And the first place we've delivered them into is the town of Vernon. And we also have a truck delivery into Vernon, as we can see with our little red trucks. So that's a quick recap on the changes that were lost thanks to my interfering children and their love for just hitting random buttons on the computer. That's what happens when you let a two-year-old and five-year-old touch the keyboard, I suppose. More fool me for not supervising them properly, but there you go. So, for today's episode, what I think we're going to do is improve these transport links out to these airports. As I said at the moment, we just have a bog standard tram running out here, and I don't even think they have delivered any passengers out to the airports yet. So, the first airport we want to focus on is naturally Calgary Airport, because that's going to be our main airport on this map, or it will be eventually. And just having a simple tram system probably isn't doing it that much justice, so we want to get that changed. So let's make a start. So, we do have a tram system out here, as we can plainly see. I've also upgraded some of the roads on the map to modern roads, as we can see here there's the difference between the old dirt tracks and the new modern asphalt country roads so over time they will be getting upgraded as well across the map but that's for a later date and it's probably going to be done off camera anyway so i think we can get a train station out here it would make sense to have a train station out here let's be honest and the best place to have this station is going to be let's see And I think we'll have a free platform station. And yes, the most logical place is going to be right here, just in front of the airport. Oh, we've also unlocked high-speed tracks. I haven't put any of those down yet. So let's start with that now. And if we put the station just here, like so, and we'll really name this to Calgary Airport, station and the first place we want to link this into is obviously Calgary itself now the only problem with the station here is we have this very steep drop off straight away from the station so we are going to have quite an extensive bit of bridge work leaving the airport station but I think that will look quite nice so what we want then we want high speed tracks from now on and we'll let it run out. We want the iron bridge for maximum speed. So as we can see, we can now hit 112 miles per hour with our new high speed tracks. 
we don't want to fall off that aggressively because we want to comfortably clear the road here. I think having this large iron bridge leading into the airport is going to be quite scenic. So let's just run this over the little highway here, like so. And in fact, I think at this point we'll keep it level. Because looking at the terrain over the other side of the river, we're pretty much at the same sort of height, if not a little bit lower. So to begin with, we'll just run it to just there is going to be fine. So the bridge does bend and bow a little, coming down and then rising back up, but it's nothing too ridiculous. And we'll just quickly run in a parallel track down here. And then we want to connect in, and we can connect into this line here, but we want to be mindful about any future growth of Calgary. So we want to leave them as much room as we can. So what we'll do, is if we curve off sort of like that so now we're heading roughly towards the machinery factory that's okay and then in fact would we be better served having a bridge over that road rather than having a level crossing which is going to cause a lot of stop start with our traffic let's see could we even have a bridge out here we could but I do think if we just take this back maybe just one section or maybe just a little more and instead of following the lay of the land in fact yes we'll let it rise up and then from this point on we want to keep uh, that gradient again switch to the iron bridge here and just span over the road there make sure the track is straight there we go and then we should now have enough room to come down and connect it into this line here and we want to connect it in both directions so we have access to southwest calgary and central calgary as well so let's first just double track that and then we want to bring it around let it rise, uh, let it drop with the lay of the land and attempt to connect in like this if we can. Now that is quite steep but I think it looks okay. What track are we using there? I'm not ignoring the fact we've unlocked the class 9000 by the way. We will come to that at some point but for now I want to get this set up. And I don't want to get too distracted by a new train unlock. So let's see. Okay, try and get this right because I can't quite snap it parallel as we can see. I think we're a little bit, yes, even at the maximum elevation change, we're still a little ways up above this track here. So it might, might have to do is now just run on if it can which it can't because of that road which is a little unfortunate okay let's rethink this then so I think what we might do instead we'll just get rid of all this that we've just put down so that was a, a waste of five minutes but so be it I'd rather get it right and I think what we'll do I really don't want to have a level crossing there. Let's get rid of that road. That's not being used by anything at the moment, so that's nice and easy to get rid of. Right. Let's swap again for the iron bridge. There we go. Let's just try it again with a bit more of a run up. There we go, that's looking better. So it's giving us a very strange section of track here, isn't it? That's utterly bizarre. 
I'm not sure how I feel about that. Although that looks better. The road looks ridiculous, but I think what we'll do is we'll tunnel the road underneath the train line in due course. And then from here, we're actually a little bit lower compared to the... Oh, for God's sake. Did not mean to do that at all. Of course, now I can't get it to do what I need it to do. Right. That may have to be abandoned. And we'll try something completely different. Let's take it back to there. Delete all of this. I apologise if this is a little frustrating to watch. Believe me, it's just as frustrating to try and get right. And I'd rather get it right than just compromise. Now I think we might even... No, we're not... Ooh, we might be able to get a tunnel underneath the road. No, we're not going to. I think we're far too high up to get a tunnel underneath. But we'll quickly, and I do mean quickly, test it. So we can... Although, it's not the best because the tunnel entrance is overlapping onto the texture for the road, which is not going to work for me at all. Okay, let me have a quick think here and decide the best course of action. Now I think what we can do is if we take the bridge back a little bit further, I think that's no longer rising at that point. Keep it level rather than rising upwards. There we go. How would that look with an iron bridge? Not too bad, and in terms of level, we're a little bit high, but we could have a slowly decreasing bridge like that. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the junction. Just wait for the rail bus to clear there. Is that junction going to overlap? I think it is. Raise it up a little. Like so. Perhaps just a touch more. Okay. I think that will work for me. We're going to have to delete this signal just here. Otherwise this track will not lay in correctly. Well, it looks like it doesn't want to lane correctly anyway, which is very unfortunate. What's the, where's the collision here? Is it the bridge pillar? It is. So what we might have to do is quickly delete that road. Our trucks will reroute themselves along here, so that's fine. And let's just try that one more time and see if we can now build it. Now we're still having a collision. I guess it's with this bridge here. I guess that's causing our issue. So what we can do to compromise is just put a crossover there. And then can we successfully get this dual tract off a bridge? I guess we cannot. And unfortunately our nearest... Oh no, I suppose we, if we dual track at this point, have a quick... And I mean quick in terms of simple, not quick as in rapid in terms of speed. But a quick junction there. And then this will just have to be single tracked. The majority of the track is dual, so we should be okay without too many holdups there. We're going to need a diamond on the bridge, which is sometimes a little bit tricky to get in. But it looks like we've got away with it. No, apparently that's too much curvature. Come from the other way, and it works. So I think this is all going to work now. 
It's a shame we couldn't get this properly bridged up, but that's fine. So that's a connection there into Calgary. Now heading to southwest Calgary. I guess if we try and branch off on the bridge, it's going to make a very strange bridge artifact. Let's have a look. Yes, that is ugly as sin. So let's just come back. And what we'll do... Okay. We will curve off like so, keep it level. Just for the uh, decent junction. How does that look? I can't get a, a nice angle here to check it. That looks okay. And then we're going to just find our best way to head into our tracks. Just on the far side of the machinery factory there. I guess what we can do is, again, have an elongated iron bridge. Just to there. Or do we want to cut? In fact, now let's come this way. Like so. You can, oh no, you can't head down there. There we go. Oh no. Just trying to find the lowest elevation possible where it actually gives us a bridge. There it is. But it's dropping off slightly, but nothing too drastic. And again, we'll put a junction there. Now it's deciding to be daft. That's annoying. Okay, just quickly pause it. Delete that and that. Put the rest of the track in and then we'll reconnect that road there. And in fact what we'll do, we'll delete that bit there as well. And we can have the road just head underneath there. We can lower it down if we need to, which I think we are going to need to. How many lanes is this? I think this is, yes, that's the one. Yes and yes for that. So head down. Like that. Okay, now can we keep you level? No, so what's the best we can do? There's the best. Okay, this is being awkward here. Let's just take that back a little. There we go. That's everybody happy once again. And now we can unpause it. And then we can continue with this. We can have a level crossing there. Not too fussed about that. And then what we want to do is just come around, if we can, into this track, although the industry is in the way ever so slightly. So we can snap parallel, although maybe if we do, it's just overhanging that corner, just, there we go. And then once again, what side are we going to come off this way here? And in like so. Okie dokie. So we're going to need signals for this. As we can see, we've unlocked the electronic light signals. That's fine. So off camera, I will go through and upgrade all the signals on our network to the modern electronic signals. Again, like I said, I'll do that off camera just because it'll be a very tedious task. And it's not something we want to see done on camera, I am sure. Although I'm sure it won't be as tedious as this track lane effort just was. I thought this was going to be nice and simple and straightforward. Clearly not. Now, because these are light signals, I have no problem putting these inside a tunnel. They are illuminated after all. 
clearing signal there and a stopping signal there. That needs to be a double slip switch. It's not letting me click it. That... What's happened there? That is... Very, very annoying. Let's try that again. Maybe we need to come a little bit longer like that. Then can we make it... Why can't I click that to make it a double slip switch? Why won't you let me do it? Let me just test something here. No, it's not working as a double slip switch, is it? No, it is not, so delete that. Okay. Perhaps it's because the junction is a little too close, so let's just quickly redo this. Now, can we have... No. What about this one over here? Will it let me select this one? Oh, we didn't do it there, did we? We did the crossover. Okay, so... Looks like we're going to have to do the same thing here then, rather than mess about with this all night. Let's just do it that way, so... Like that. Delete that bit there. Drop it in, like so. And then we need a crossover. If you're going to let me have one. Maybe if you get rid of... Oh, didn't need to get rid of that. Yeah, but let's get rid of those signals there. This should make it a little bit easier. So, will you let me have a crossing? A nice one? Yes, you will. There we go. Now everything will work, will work correctly. So, signal there. Uh, we'll have stopping signal there for the junction that's a claiming signal that's all blocked up and then we want signal there and then claiming signal there and then a few blocks just down along the bridge on the way into the airport where's the diamond there's the diamond so stopping signal and the claiming signal and we'll go for one more block the trains aren't going to be overly long running down here like so Perfect ish. So now we can set up these lines. So we want to go from Calgary out here. So from Calgary to the airport. And then we'll go from. Yes, let's do that. Simple back and forth. This can be a pink colour. I don't think there's anything pink over in Calgary. That's going to cause confusion. No, that's all fine. These platforms are going to be a little bit busy, as we can tell, just because of the amount of networks and services we have on these platforms now. But it should be okay. It's doing all the right things, as we can see. All good there. So this will be Calgary Airport Shuttle. Another new line again. We're going from this time southwest Calgary to the airport. This can be a what color shall we have for this? A green color. Yep, should change this terminal there to platform one, not terminal. Sorry, I do mean platform. And again, you're doing all the correct things. And yes, you're sharing platform one there. We can always have put a third platform on here if we want to in the near future that won't be too difficult he says hopefully and this is southwest calgary airport 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 shuttle and here we go so we can get some trains to run these lines now in terms of what depot we want to use for these I think we're going to go with the depots out here. So locomotives, obviously we're not going to use a class 9000, that's very obviously a steam train. I think we'll go for the M300 rail buses again out here. And we'll just have 60 carry capacity and we'll have 
two on each line, so that's four in total. So the first two are pink, the second two are green, and then we can just stick them on the lines. Where are you? Southwest Calgary Airport Shuttle and Calgary Airport Shuttle. So hopefully now we'll start seeing a few more passengers heading out this way now that we have the train station. The first airline we have linked up is Calgary to Enderby as we can see here. I'm not sure what the international airport co codes are for Calgary. I guess it's either CLG or CGY. I'll check that in between this episode and the next and if it's not what I already have there I will rename it to the correct airport code. I'm not sure if there's an airport at Enderby. If there is, I shall try and find the airport code. If not, I'll keep it at what I have at the minute, which is END. Alright, so now we want to get a similar sort of system for Enderby Airport. And this one should be a lot easier. So let's get the station first of all. Just the two for this. And we'll have it just there. And then this is going to be a simple task to connect this in. So we'll come out like so. And then where, where's the best point to connect into? That's a bit, a bit sharp. That's, let's just stretch it out there. Where is, is there a diamond out here that isn't? So, let's run that out like that. And then after this little junction here is where we shall merge these into here. That looks okay. That also looks okay. Right, so we do need a diamond now. We didn't initially, but we will now. Like so. So these signals now need to become two-way. So we'll change those to two-way signals. That can stay as one-way, because it's after the diamond. And then we'll just put some signals along here to protect this junction. So one there, that serve as a clearing signal, and then just a few blocks along the way, and then we want a diamond just before the station, with a stopping signal for the diamond, and that can serve as a clearing signal for the station and for the diamond. So that's that. Do we want to have a line into Sycamus. Do you know what? I'll say we probably do, just because it's... I know it's very close, but we may as well have one. So let's go for high-speed catenary tracks, and we'll just use this outer platform here. Now, I think this can be a short platform. We'll just have it like that, just for something a little different. And then this is just a straight, simple connection like that. And this is also needing a diamond over here. Need to keep this short because we don't have a lot of space out here. In fact, we probably don't even have any room for any blocking signals. I don't think we do. We might be able to squeeze one in, although we're not going to have many trains. Probably only one running out here, but we'll put a blocking signal in anyway. This wants to be Enderby Airport Station. And then it's a simple case of setting up the train lines out here. So from Enderby, coloured orange, no, yellow, to the station. And in fact, this may run out, may as well, I should say, run out to Sycamus and back to the station like that. That will work, and this can be the Enderby Airport Shuttle. So now we can purchase a train for this, and I think we only need two. It's only 
doing a short distance even when it's going from Enderby to Sycamus. And we'll use this station out here. Again, just go for the rail buses. 60 capacity, two of them. They are yellow. There we go. Okay, so that's now airport connections in terms of our rail lines. Not had any passengers out here yet, as we can see. It's been running for about a year. Hopefully we will start getting some passengers in the near future, but I guess nobody wants to come from Calgary to Enderby or vice versa. Hopefully the trains should encourage a bit more passenger generation, however. Anything out here yet? Nope. Anybody waiting at our station? Oh, we have one going to the airport. That's brilliant. Anybody at Calgary heading to the airport? No. So we're going to have our inaugural passenger heading to the airport from southwest Calgary. So we'll keep an eye on that. Nobody on our metros, I'm assuming. I do mean the tram metros rather than our train metros. It doesn't look like it, but that's that's fine. Now, the other thing that's happened, because we have modern roads, we now have traffic lights appearing. Now, if you've seen my video on how to manage traffic lights, or how to manage traffic, I should say, in my experience, the best thing you can do is just get rid of traffic lights. So that's what I'm doing here now in Calgary. Just deleting the traffic lights as they've appeared. We'll get rid of these out on these junctions as well. And all this will, as we saw in that video, it should help things keep flowing that little bit smoother. Now in terms of other rail connections for the airport, like I said we can head out to Cochrane Station as well. We can also have one that maybe loops round out towards Pridis and Bragg Creek. But for now, just having the two connections should be more than enough. Our airport shuttle trains haven't made it out here just yet. Are they? No, they're the dark shuttles. Here's one of them. Here's a second one. And I guess number three and number four are hot on their tail. There's number three. Number four is not too far from the depot, so they're on the way. It's just going to take them a little while to get out there because of the traffic that we have on the lines out there. But that's fine, we'll get there when they get there. As we saw, there's not a lot of passengers waiting to head to the airport yet anyway. So, Although, here we are, we have our first passenger at the airport. Let's locate them now. This is Mr. Christian Cooper. You shall be our inaugural passenger. Do we have a plane incoming yet? Let's see. I can't see any plane icons yet. They might all be over in Calgary. Hopefully they'll stall. There's one. There's two. They'll get there when they get there. Let's not spend all night chasing down aircraft. Okay, so the other thing we did unlock was the Class 9000. Obviously that's a fairly substantial and beefy freight train. So let's go ahead, open our vehicle manager. We only want to view our trains. In terms of train lines, I want something that's long haul and is also freight. Perhaps the coal freight line that we have over in Sycamus is a candidate. They are travelling a fair old distance. The food freight line from Calgary, no, we don't want that one. We want something that's pulling quite a lot of wagons. The Class 9000 is rather beefy. What's this here? Our iron ore freight from Seymour Arm to Chase. Now that is a fair old distance, isn't it, if I remember? Let's just check that. Yes, so this is running from up here all the way down and around and then into Chase. 
So I think we'll run the class 9000s out here on these lines. Let's just get one of our iron trains. They're both logging. Okay, so we'll do it the quicker way. We'll select them from this screen here. And just so we have them on the map, let's kit these out with the class 9000. Let's see about the speed. 50, 50, 49. 50, 39, 21. So yes, vastly improved speed and performance. Obviously, they're also a lot more expensive to operate. So let's now hunt one of those down, although I could have just clicked on one of the trains on that menu screen. But I imagine we'll find one pretty quickly. Here's one just here. Let's have a look at the Class 9000. Hello. That is an absolute monster, in a good way. Just take a moment just to appreciate the rugged, raw beauty of this train. It does have a very unique aesthetic appeal to it. It absolutely dwarfs the gondolas at its towing, as we can see. So we're up to top speed now, 50 miles per hour. And I must say, yes, it has that almost primal look to it, I think. It just exudes power, doesn't it? Let's just see very quickly if there's any other line that we might want to consider using that train on. So we got as far as iron. Logging freight, no. Machinery freight, where's that heading from? West Bank to Armstrong, no. Ooh, steel freight. Donald to Calgary, yes. Yes, 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 absolutely these trains, because they are going a big old distance. They're going through the Rocky Mountains. Let's edit those, give those a class 9000 as well. And in fact, we can... Oh my god, look at that. 50 across the board. We would be silly not to whack some more flat cars on there. If you're still at 50 across the board, wow. Can we push 300 metres? 50, 50, 45. Absolutely we can. And why wouldn't we? So get it to 276 capacity. Vastly improved to train that one. And obviously the increased capacity should help offset the increased running costs of all of this. That's three out of four. The final one now. Two, oh, one too many. Two, seven, six. 75 million. I think it's well worth the investment. And let's quickly head on over to one of these because these are going to look a little bit monstrous with their long consist. There we go, just passing the Peter Ray there. We've hopped off the train, did not mean to do that. We'll just follow along with this camera. Yes, I do believe they are going to make us a nice little bit of dollar when they are fully laden. Do we have any near the steer mill yet let's have a look so our steel mill is out here in Donald I don't think we have any that we're going to see fully loaded in this episode but that's okay we can look at them in the future we may also want to consider upgrading our goods freight train to a class 9000 Although, because we're not pulling a lot of wagons, it's probably a little bit overkill for that. So we might just leave them as is for the time being. Let's just quickly head back to our airport. So, still, is it just still just the one passenger? Yep. Christian Cooper waiting very patiently for his flight to arrive. As we can obviously tell, our planes are not spread out nicely yet at all. They are quite bunched up. Do we have anybody at Calgary waiting to board? 
Well, we have somebody at the station. Oh, I see what's happened there. So they've used our airport shuttle from Southwest Calgary as a means to get into Calgary itself, which is a little bit bizarre. But if that's what they want to do, then who are we to judge? Still nobody heading to the airport from Calgary yet, as we can see. Although we do have two heading out there on the Calgary Airport Shuttle. I think what we'll do is just accelerate the time here. Because I want to see if these are actually coming out here to use the airport. Or if they're using this as some sort of interchange system. Again, if they are, that would be a little bit odd. But as long as they're on the train, I suppose that's all that matters as far as we're concerned. Let's see what happens. Are you going to head to the airport or just change platforms? You just changed platforms, didn't you? Oh no. Looks like we could have passengers over in Calgary. Let's just slow it down again. Unless they're just going to take the tram, which would be all kinds of bizarre. Nope, they're going into the airport. Any planes coming into land yet? Nope. In fact, let's just quickly find our planes, shall we? Aircraft number one, whereabouts are you? So you've left Calgary, you're heading back to British Columbia. Lovely view of the Rocky Mountains from up here. No passengers on board, but that's okay. Aircraft number two, I guess you're just behind. You are literally just behind. And there's number three, and if you can just see it there, is it number four. And I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that none of these... Oh, God have any passengers on board so you're number two you're number four where's the last one ah it doesn't matter it's not gonna have anybody on board let's be honest so ladies and gentlemen i think we'll wrap things up here now laying the tracks in and around calgary was a little bit of a episode and test of patience but we got there in the end. Obviously things over here in NDB were a lot more simple and straightforward. I think what I'll do between episodes is go ahead and upgrade our entire network to high speed rail lines. And I'll also take some time and swap out all these old wooden semaphores for the new light signals as well. We are adding into the modern era as we can see, almost 1930 into the jazz era and all that so let's bring your thing up to speed out here shall we so all that remains for me to say now ladies and gentlemen is i hope you have enjoyed the episode if you have why not hit that thumbs up button there down below it does help the channel get discovered and the episodes get discovered as well but other than that as always take very good care of yourselves it's tata for now